Hello guys, here's Daniel again. Today I want to show you uh, how we can create a dynamic chart in Excel. So here we got our table, and I have three years, 2011 to 2030, and we get the numbers here, the revenue, the edit, and the net income for each year. And what we want to do is we want to create a chart uh, where we can select with just one click uh, which year we want to show on the chart. And in order to do that, I use the develop tab here and click insert and I insert three of this option box. So for each year, one option box. Alright, so I click here and I insert it here. I use this like that. Okay, my option button. And I copy that two times because I need three option buttons, right? Okay, got my option buttons here. And I place them here. And if you want to select the option button, you need to click the right mouse button. Then the left, and then you can just drag them where you want. Okay? So I got my three option buttons for three years. So now we need to link those option buttons to a cell. In order to do that, we go right click, form a control, and the cell link will be this cell here. You can choose whatever cell you want, um, if you don't want to show the number later, but now it doesn't matter. So I use this cell, the B7, alright? Click OK. So now, if we select one of the option buttons, we will see, oh, you can see that. The number here, but I need to change something. So I'm gonna so I'll click, right click. This is the third option button, so I will put them at the end. And this is the second one, so I will drag here. This is the second one, and this one, the third one. All right, now we got second, third. Okay. So now we want to use the number to pick up the right year. So in order to do that. We will use the index function. So click equals index. And our array is just these three um, columns here in the first row. And um, the row number, well, we don't have to insert a row number because there is only one row. So you can put it, type in a one, but you don't have to. Um, so and the column number will be this dynamic one, this number, right? And we close parenthesis and press enter. And now we get the year 2011, 2012, 2030. All right. So now we want to use this number to show in this table. We want only show um, the row of the right year we selected. All right. So in order to do that, we will use equal the if formula if all right if this year here and we we'll use f4 key and press it twice why because we want to copy it to the right and down so down it has to stay three right and uh, has to stay um, b because on here we want all for 2011 but here we need the c8 all right so we can lock the 8 because we will remain in uh, the row 8, but we are not allowed to lock uh, the column. Okay. If this one is equal to this number we get here, and press a 4 because this is big, then we want to show this value here, B2. Alright? Else, we want to show an NA. We don't want to show a zero or something like that because we would see that on the chart. So in order to delete anything else than the right uh, row from the chart or the right column from the chart, we have to type in NA, the NA formula, because the chart will never show that. Okay, close it. Don't have to put any argument inside and just close the whole if function. Press enter. And now we will copy that down and to the left like this. All right. And now 
whatever cell we selected, we only get the right column for the year. All right. And now, basically, we just have to select this whole range, and we'll insert a diagram. You can choose, for instance, columns. Well, I like to use bars, so I will use bars. All right. And yeah, use this one. Okay. And um, yeah, what we have to do is we want to switch rows and columns, all right, like this. And now we could delete, um, well, delete that uh, the legend we want, but it doesn't matter right now. Um, just to see now, just with one click, we can select the year, all right. So now you can, if you want, you can adapt uh, the chart um, the way you like it, um, and also. The first, um, this first table and also these two uh, cells, they don't have to be uh, necessarily on the same sheet. I mean, if you don't want to show that, for instance, you only want, or you only want to show this table and you don't want this on the sheet, whatever you like, you can do that. But I just want to show you how you can create this dynamic diagram and hopefully that helps you and you can use that in presentations. Um, thanks for watching.